What's up everybody? Do you ever find your mushrooms slow to colonize? Your microbes slow to activate? Vinegars slow to ferment? Or FPJs as well? Well, today we're putting together a temperature control box. Something you didn't know you always needed. This will really step up your fermentation game. Everything from bread proofing to vinegar making a place to consistently provide the right environment for the hard-working microbes to do their magic. So, what are we going to need? So I'll be setting up the Inkbird ITC 308 controller. Let's get this unboxed. There we got the cooling, heating outputs, mains input, and temperature probe. Let's get this in power and uh, see how it looks. Nice bright backlight. So this unit is really easy to set up. Uh, the instructions are super simple. All you do is hold this set button for three seconds to enter the controls for settings. We have temperature setting, we're going to be aiming for 28 degrees Celsius. Then we hit set. Now, it's asking for the temperature differential. We're looking for it to be kept quite consistently at 28. So I want a differential of about 1 degree. 27 is okay. Again, 26 is okay. Now we're looking for the cold differential. I'm not going to be using a cooling device, so that doesn't need setting. The alarm I shan't be using, but it's nice to have a temperature alarm for over 20 degrees and below 40 degrees operating ranges. Uh, PT is for any delay for compressors, which we're not using. Uh, CA is for calibration, so if you have any known variants in the temperature probe and any temperature devices you're already using. Uh, we didn't actually get to complete that, because I was talking too much. So we're going to set it to 28 again. Leave that leave it down to 1. No compressor, no calibration known, setting temperature, uh, as in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Then to save, we hold the set button for three. And now you can see the heat setting has come on. So it's now providing power to the heat output because the temperature is reading below this. So it appears this unit should be working really well we shall now look to install. So we're back with our cardboard box and I will be installing the heat mat along this back edge. Uh, two reasons. I'm looking to heat the space rather than heat anything directly. So by putting it on the side, I can use all the bottom area for whatever I'm looking to keep it at a correct temperature. And it also means that the power cable will run out of this corner quite nicely when it's folded up and closed. So I'm going to shuffle this in. Now, I 
think I'm going to put these nice and close by to keep this unit quite self-contained. I'm going to punch a hole straight through the top here. And the second one just above. And this is where I'm going to thread through my zip tie. And then I'm going to punch a hole either side of this unit. Perfect. Now let's get these fixed in. So you'll notice the cable's not helping too much, so I'm actually going to move it over slightly so that it sits more comfortably. And there we have it. Mounted, ready. No power at the moment. We can go and plug in the There we go, all nicely wired up. As you can see, it's already starting. So now that this is working, we're going to take the probe This unit inside. Now we're going to want it to hang around the middle of the space so that we get the most average temperature. What's going to be easy is probably punching a hole in here which will enable us to put a knot in the cable to stop it going through allowing us to have it at a consistent height. Ultimately here seems to be it for me. There we have it. Now, an option is to use something like a riser. This will enable the air to circulate underneath what you have proofing or fermenting. I'm going to just load this up now. Uh, another option is to insulate this box from the outside. You can, it could be as simple as throwing on an old duvet or blanket. But any kind of insulation will help retain the temperature, keep it more consistent. If you have any other ideas or uses for what you could put in this temperature, temperature controlled box, please uh, leave them down in the comments below because those kind of hints and tips really help each other out. And if you've actually enjoyed this and you're considering making your own, uh, maybe consider giving us a like and a subscribe. Uh, but with this really simple bit of kit, you can start to up your fermentation, incubation, proofing for bread makers. It just becomes a lot more reliable in cold temperatures and means we can keep doing our hobby throughout the darker months. Uh, I say thanks and we'll see you next time.